Hi friends, today I will like to demo on how we can set up CICD pipeline for Snowflake using GitHub as a repo, GitHub action as pipeline setup and schema change in Snowflake. So if you have not looked into my recent blog on Snowflake CICD with GitHub action and schema change, I would suggest you to please have a look. Uh, there I have captured more details. Let's start with the demo. Uh, first of all, I will like to show you that uh, I'm connected to Snowflake with the default role and uh, warehouse and database demo DB. Under demo DB, we have the default public information schema. There is uh, there is nothing else. So all are the default setup. As of now, you don't see anything has been deployed as a cluster. So for CI/CD uh, setup. Uh, we need three things first is github for repo and uh, snow uh, github action for the pipeline setup and the snowflake account so uh, if you don't know how to create an account you can go to github so if if you go to github you will see that here under repository tab you can click on new and create any repository so whether you want to create a public or private that's up to you but this is the place where you can create your repository so likewise i have created the repository for uh, schema with the name schema change cicd under this you can see that these are the default file which got created so as of now there is nothing on this github repository and the same i have uh, already cloned at my local so you will see that I'm already up to date with the folder and if you go here a change you will see that it is showing the same thing now let's start that uh, with the setup to uh, do the setup now first step we have created we, we have created the repository default or the blank repository uh, to uh, Connect with Snowflake, we have to uh, provide all the details like uh, Snowflake account name, username, password, compute and everything. So those things uh, earlier, if you have seen my earlier video, when we were doing all these things from the Windows local, we have set up everything as a uh, environment variable. But when we start looking at from the DevOps perspective, we can't uh, keep that as uh, open as environment variable. We have to put that on secret. So if you want to put the same thing you can achieve the same thing while uh, going on settings secrets so if you see here i have already added all the secrets uh, beforehand so i have created a placeholder name for sf account sf database so all these will store i have stored already all the information which is required to connect with schema change so account name database name password name role username and warehouse these are required to be passed as a mandatory parameter while calling the schema change uh, CLI. So the, this is the second step that I will set up all the secrets. Third step is you, ha you have to click on the action button and click on new workflow. I have already set up this workflow while I was trying this demo. So when you have the when you are going for the first time, you can click on action and click on new workflow and click on set up this workflow. So a default uh, YAML file will get created with a template. Uh, this this is a like a very basic template for a YAML file. I had already created a YAML file which is basically looks like this. So it says like uh, I will create a folder called DB script to put all the thing in, inside that uh, folder to start creating objects in Snowflake. So anything under DB scripts if uh, under the main branch. Uh, if I commit anything, please run the workflow. So if I commit anything inside uh, this folder, it will trigger the pipeline and start deploying the same into the Snowflake. Uh, for schema change, I need the Python. So I'm using the Python latest version 3.8. I'm fetching all the pa all the secrets from uh, uh, Secret Vault into the command line. And then I am just prompting the current workplace uh, path and then I'm installing the schema change because uh, it's a pipeline and I need to uh, deploy the uh, schema change uh, for execution and then 
at the step two, I am just executing a schema change with all the parameter like GitHub workspace, dbsk, folder, path, miss. this is my working directory. This is my account, username, role, warehouse, database and the uh, change history, table, creation uh, parameter. So this is my uh, uh, YAML file definition which I already added. So I am not going to commit this over here. Rather I would sit cancel and I will show you directly on the file. So this, this is the script which I already committed here. But if uh, you are doing first time, you have to add this file here. And then I will go into the code again and uh, from the local I will start pushing the file so you can see that I have the file uh, to file uh, on my uh, download folder so what this file is like for the initial it will create a schema called demo and then it will create the first table CICD inside the demo schema uh, by default, I have set up to use demo db database. So it, it will first connect to demo db database and then create a schema name as demo and then a table called first table CICD. And then uh, I will add the second file which will use the same demo schema and alter the table and add a column called h. So let's start with the first thing. I will just copy the first file. I will put that inside my uh, db script folder. So this is currently on my local. Uh, now I'm going to uh, connect with my git bash. I will check for the status. It will show me that there is new folder added. I will just add everything, whatever is there on the current directory. I will just commit everything because I know there is nothing else. So I will say initial commit. Oh, sorry, I put the space. This should not be any space. It is added. Now I will push that into the global pane directory. So it is committed. Now, if I go here and just do a refresh, you will see the DB script folder. Inside this, there is uh, initial object. And if I go on action folder, you will see that initial commit has been triggered. It is deploying the snowflake change. So run schema is change, uh, running. It is printing all the logs. It is still running. Successfully installed. Warning. You should consider upgrading. Okay, these are the messages. Uh, now it's actually running step two running schema change. And once this is done, we will go and in the snowflake and look for the table. Yeah, I think it's completed. Yes, it's done. So basically, I'm expecting one schema, new schema needs to be created, uh, one table, uh, one uh, alter statement needs to be applied. And then I'm looking for a default schema, schema change under demo DB. And under that schema change, there should be another table name as a change history which will record all the deployment so let's go and see let me refresh i can see the demo schema under demo schema there is first table cicd i can see the first name last name i can also see the schema change and under that i can see the change history table so basically if i go and uh, query this table So I can see that uh, initial object with this file name has been successfully deployed. Now I will go ahead and uh, add the alter statement to a DB script as a second file. So uh, if you have seen my uh, first video on schema change, you know why I have kept a file uh, to maintain the sequence and in the same order the file will get executed. Let me push this change to uh, get status okay uh, get add get commit hyphen n and then i will just uh, put that final commit and then get push the moment i will do get push it will push the file and then if i go here 
refresh code I will see another file over here if you go on action I can see the final commit has been triggered now the moment it will get completed it will deploy and add a new column with the name H so let's go and uh, refresh here so let me go here and see if it is been deployed or not no as of now no. let's see let's wait for uh, turning this deployment to green oh it failed all right what is the issue demo sorry I think I have missed something All right. oh sorry uh, I found the issue uh, the issue is I have put the wrong uh, column name so that's fine that's uh, validate that uh, if I have modified uh, something or if I put something wrong it will fail so let me just update the table name let me save this and put this again git add now it should not fail if i go here come here it will again trigger let's see if it's completed successfully this time meanwhile i just want to query this and see what is happening okay still i see only uh, one because last uh, execution failed now this is running downloading the python schema change and now it's installing the package all right now it's running the running schema change hopefully this time it should get completed uh, successfully it should not take this much time yep it's completed successfully so now it's done so if i go here and refresh and if i click on first table csvd it, it shows that the age column has been added so basically uh, this was a uh, simple and you can say like uh, a very basic uh, CICD setup here I have just uh, created a repository uh, I have created a workflow uh, which will trigger based on the uh, action I have taken or decided on the YAML file so based on uh, what kind of activity uh, I have kept for uh, trigger as a trigger point will trigger so I have kept everything like uh, if there is any activity on db script just push uh, means like start trigger on the pipeline but in real scenario it will not be the case so based on different action you have to decide or you have to execute different scripts so here I don't want to uh, create or showcase the full fledged uh, pipeline setup my motto was to just uh, showcase the simple setup where you can see how to uh, uh, how the file will get triggered and uh, schema change will help you to deploy the thing in Snowflake. Thank you.